This video is about how to clean the FN509 Tactical. If this is your first time to field strip the 509, you've come to the right place. There's a lot of new gun owners out there right now, so if this is your first pistol, you made a great choice. It's an awesome weapon. It's light enough to carry, big enough to fight with, holds plenty of ammo, plenty accurate, and extremely durable from what I've seen. To get started, you'll need a few things. CLP, cleaning patches, or in this case, I'm going to use a cut-up t-shirt a patch holder, a bronze or nylon bore brush, a cleaning jag, a cleaning rod with handle, cotton swabs, a nylon brush, and a bore snake. You can get any of these items at your local gun shop or anywhere online, but as of the recording of this video, I found that the most inexpensive place to get everything is going to be on Amazon, so I'll put links to everything in the notes below. I start out with an empty weapon, but of course I'm always going to check. I keep it pointed in a safe direction, keep my finger off the trigger, press the mag release button here and drop the magazine, hold the grip with your firing hand, and work the slide a few times with your non-firing hand. If there's any ammunition left in the chamber, it's going to eject at this point. Because the magazine is now removed, I had to manually lock the slide back. I did that by pulling the slide all the way to the rear, and as it's all the way back, I push the slide stop lever upward. In order for the slide to come off, you'll need to remove the thread protector. Now rotate the takedown lever to about the 6 o'clock position. Now release the slide by pressing the slide stop downward. Guide the slide home to the original position. At this point, you'll need to pull the trigger in order to continue getting the slide off. Now you can continue removing the slide. Now remove the recoil spring by compressing it from chamber end to muzzle end. Now just push the barrel up and grab it by the lug and pull it right out. And now your field strip. You have your frame, your recoil spring, the slide, the barrel, your thread protector, and your magazine. This is as far as you need to go for a basic field strip and clean. You don't need to do this in any particular order, but I'm going to start with the frame today. Add CLP to your nylon brush and start going through it. Scrub all the inner and outer surfaces, everything you can see. What I'm doing mostly now is removing all the loose dirt, carbon, and fouling, and everything else that needs to come off, and after that, I'm going to go through it in more fine detail. Now that I've loosened up all the fouling, I'm going to go through it in fine detail. I add CLP to the cotton swab. I'm going to pay particular attention to the rails and anything that shows metal on metal wear. To clean out the magazine well, I'm just going to ball up a t-shirt and feed it through from bottom to the top. Just be careful with the intricate parts at the top of the frame. If it feels like the rag's too big to feed all the way through the top, don't try to force it. Just push it up, get a good clean, and pull it right back out through the bottom of the grip. The 509 has really good and deep stippling. The easiest way to dry off the excess CLP is just wrap your rag around the grip and squeeze. Now let's clean the slide. Add CLP to your nylon brush and start cleaning all visible surfaces. Much like we did with the frame, first we're going to get off all the loose carbon and fouling and whatnot, and then we're going to go through it in fine detail. Now clean it thoroughly, but you do not want to leak excess CLP down into the striker channel. When you're scrubbing, you're going to have to give the breech face extra attention because it does get really dirty, but you also do not want to leak CLP down into the channel that the firing pin comes out of. Make sure you clean really well around the extractor. I'm also going to brush out the rail channels really well. Now I'm going to take a clean cotton swab and clean out all the excess dirt and CLP. You'll see that the cotton swabs come out really dirty at first. Just keep running clean cotton swabs through the rails until they come out clean. After the rails are completely clean, I'm going to go through the slide with a clean rag and wipe off all the excess CLP. Okay, this slide is totally spotless right now. But before I reassemble, I'll make sure to go back and lubricate everything properly. Okay, let's clean the barrel. 
screw on your bore brush and make sure it says 9 millimeter, 357 like this one, 38 or 380. Now I'm only going to push the bore brush through in one direction, from chamber in to muzzle in, because it doesn't make any sense at all to push the dirt out and pull it right back in. That's the way you would clean a high precision rifle, so why not clean your pistol the same way? It doesn't hurt anything, it only takes a few extra seconds. So what happens is I push the brush through. When it comes out the muzzle in, I unscrew the brush, pull the cleaning rod back out, put the brush back on, and start over. Make sure that you're pushing the cleaning rod through by the handle. The handle allows the bore brush and the cleaning rod to spin freely. You want the bore brush to spin freely within the rifling so that you'll get a good clean. If you were to just grab it by the handle and push it straight through the barrel, the bore bristles will just scrape right over the rifling and you wouldn't get a good clean. So push the bore brush through a few times, then attach your cleaning jag. Once again, make sure it's the correct caliber. Add CLP to a cleaning patch, put it over the jag, and push it through. Much like the brush, you're going to only go in one direction, from chamber end to muzzle end. You'll see that the first few patches come out really dirty. Just keep pushing patches through until they come out clean. You can use the patch holder I showed you at the beginning of the video in place of the jag if you like, but I get better results with the jag. Okay, sometimes it takes more, sometimes it takes less, but this time it took about 10 patches to get it totally clean. So. This is the 10th patch and it looks like that. So the bore is totally clean now and it's also dry. You don't want to leave any excess CLP inside the bore. Add more CLP to your nylon brush and start scrubbing the exterior of this barrel. Scrub all visible surfaces and pay particular attention to the feed ramp right there. Now the feed ramp's pretty clean, but I'm not totally satisfied with it. I don't want any marks on it at all. I like it to be spotless. So I'm gonna add CLP to a cleaning patch and use my nail to get in there really good. So this is about what I'd like the feed ramp to look like when I'm done cleaning it. Now I'm just gonna go through with a clean rag and wipe off all the excess CLP. Now let's finish it up with a bore snake. Just make sure you're using the correct caliber. Take the weighted end, that's the part that has 90 millimeter on it. Feed the weight through the barrel from chamber end to muzzle end and pull it through. Do this a few times, then take a look inside the bore. You'll see that it's totally spotless. I mean, it looks better than new. It should look like black glass with not a speck of dirt inside. Now let's move on to the recoil spring. Add CLP to your nylon brush and scrub everything. It should only take a minute or two. When you're done scrubbing it, wipe it off with a clean rag and you're done. Now let's clean the thread protector. Add CLP to your nylon brush and scrub it inside and out. And once you dry it off with a clean rag, go ahead and re-lubricate the inside. You don't want to leave the threads totally dry because it may be hard to remove the next time you clean it. Now I'm going to clean the magazine. I'm going to add CLP to a nylon brush and start scrubbing the outside, but I'm only going to add a little CLP because I don't want anything leaking down into the magazine. You can see that there are plenty of places where CLP can leak into the magazine if you're not careful. That orange piece at the top is the follower. Make sure you scrub that really well on top of it and around it. It's not necessary to break down the magazine every time you clean it. If you do need to take it apart, it's simple enough. You probably don't need a video to show you how to do it. You just press that little button at the bottom of the base plate, then slide it off. Once you do that, all the magazine components will come out. Clean them off and just put them back in the same way you took them out. It's simple enough. Once I'm finished scrubbing down the magazine, I'm going to take a clean cotton swab and go through it in fine detail. And I'm going to leave it dry. I'm not going to leave any excess CLP on the magazine. I'm just about ready to reassemble, so I'm going to go ahead and lubricate everything. I'm going to add CLP to a clean cotton swab. I'm going to add medium lube to the rail channels and anything that I see metal on metal wear. Now it's time to lubricate the frame. Basically, you're going to loop everything that's prone to metal on metal wear or friction. But just to be perfectly clear, this is a page right out of the owner's manual. Just make sure you're not using so much CLP that it's actually running off of the gun. If you use too much, it could interfere with the function of the pistol. But don't get too caught up in the amount of CLP you're using. Just a light to medium coat is fine, and it's not an exact science. Let's reassemble the slide. First, reinstall the barrel. 
Now insert your recoil spring, push it up towards the muzzle end, and let the spring decompress towards the chamber end. And it should look like this. Now screw the thread protector back on. Now line up the rails on the frame with the channels on the slide. Pull the slide all the way back and push the slide stop upward to hold the slide back in position. Once again, that's the slide stop right there by my thumb. Now push the slide stop lever back and it's going to snap back into position. Pull the slide stop lever downward where your thumb and let the slide go home. And now your 509 is reassembled. Let's do a function check. Work the slide. Pull the trigger, but don't let it go. Work the slide again, release the trigger, you'll feel the trigger reset, and then pull it again, you'll feel and hear it click. If it does, you're good to go. I also like to make sure the slide locks back on an empty magazine. So I insert an empty magazine, I pull the slide all the way back. If it locks back, everything's good. So congratulations, you're finished cleaning your 509. I did make this video for beginners, so I really hope this helped. Clean this weapon every time after you shoot, or if it's been in storage for a long time, the time is going to be dependent on your climate. Like if you're in a more humid environment or maybe a really dry environment, of course you're going to want to take it out and see if it needs any maintenance. Or if you've been carrying it for a while, because even in a holster it's still going to pick up lint and dirt. Have pride and ownership. Take care of your weapon and your weapon will take care of you. You never know when you might need it. Train with it as often as you can and get a good holster. You spent good money on this gun, so it doesn't really make any sense to try to go cheap on ammo or a holster. The quality of your ammo and your holster is just as important as the weapon itself. Thanks for watching this video, and if you liked it, buy something from us at SkullCrush.com.